Hi, my name is Owa Oluwashun John. I live in Otumba. Uh, with the challenges we are facing here is uh, we don't have power, uh, electrical systems. They are bad. So for the past 10 years ago, we are we don't have. There's nothing like electric light, and the government have not do anything about. It. We have there are businesses around this area like banking system and other companies like that. And that they work on electric uh, system, but they have been running on generators since all this while due to lack of electricity. So um, nothing has been done by government for this. And though we have power plants, it is not power plant issue, but the only problem is the transformer and the cables, which are bad, and government has refused to do this. They even have asked the Edigen to contribute money to do all these things. Which we cannot afford to do. According to what I had then, they said each town should contribute about 50 million naira then to renovate uh, the electric system, which we cannot afford to do. So we are managing the system like that. We everybody run on it. So we have a lot of business around there, like uh, those that make glass. Uh, we have uh, woodwork like uh, sawmill. Some that sell provisions like uh, minerals, gold minerals, and um, filling stations. We have banking and all that things like that that depends on the electricity. But they are running on generator. Um, regularly, the little business I do now to survive as, as a student, uh, just because there is no light in this uh, community, so I decided to establish a small scale business here where they used to charge from because some people they, they don't have a generator they, have, they don't have anything to charge their phone and they need someone else to charge for them so that was why I established this for them uh, so and um, yet I still face some challenges here because I still need the, to use the generator and there are many things to repair a generator apart from generators I buy fuel and other things to run the the business is not even uh, is not advisable because there is no profit in it. We just manage it. Mm. So that's it. Xion is attending to a customer who pleads that his battery be given priority. The severity of the problem. I started this charging uh, store about two months ago. That should be more by this on um, December 3rd, on 3rd of December last year. So about two months ago, I started this. So I'm still a student, so I won't be able to be here for a long time. So I need to keep someone else here to work for me. So I, at times I realize, let me say I realize the average of 400 naira per day. So that is the profit that I used to make per day. So I need to keep someone here that work for me so that I can so survive in school. So that is my essence of being here. So about the profits that I do make on um, this job, I do make about 400 hours per day, uh, which is, uh, and I work for six days in a week, which is Monday to Saturday. I don't work on Sunday. So approximately, let me say, I work, I realize about 2,400 hours in a week. Uh, about uh, 10,000 euro plus in a month. So that is what I realized. Uh, and that if I should calculate it in a year, I say I realized about 2,400 euro in a week, which is uh, about 10,000 plus in a month. And in a year, if I should calculate all my gain, I realized nothing less than. 120,000 in a month, in a year. But this 120,000 is not easy to gather just like that. So it is, we have to save week by week, week per week, pay by week. At times, uh, at times, while working here, some customers will come, at least I will be comfortable with what I realize here. And at times, uh, the other way around, customer might not come. So I have I've been here for a day that I realized about 250 naira. I and then I bought fuel of about 500 naira 
the that that the I totally short. So at times especially on Saturday. Now as you can see today is Saturday now. The I have just a little customer that comes to me. I decided to change to uh, while I was in Tundra Levy in Malaysia University uh, on 2019. Yes. Um, the major reason was that I lost my dad then. And as a result, I couldn't afford to pay my school fees again. So I decided to change school to a school that at least I can still afford to pay the uh, school fees. So that was why I decided to change school. Now I'm now in H21 in Federal Then I used to pay 150,000 Naira per year in Shagwan Gadu School. Now I'm paying 30,000 Naira per year in Auchi. I don't plan to come back to Auchi by immediately after my H21. My plan is that immediately after my NYC, I will look, I will go to expose area and go to cities to search for a job rather than instead of coming back to the city. So I need to go and search for a better job so that I will live fine, so that I can be able to settle down. So that is my plan. Uh, uh, my advice to own those state government governments is that they should find solutions to this uh, particular area. They should give companies and let them restore back our light so that even uh, uh, had it been they restore back this light then people, individuals will be able to bring other companies in, in this area so that people will still have some jobs to do, so that the youth will live fine now the youths that are here we have graduates that ride bike so that is the common job that they do here so my advice to them is that they should find solution to the uh, electricity and green companies so that people will work. Thank you very much.